Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Let's join together in our opening nigunim. Any syllable will do. Rabbi Kalman, if we could just wait before our intros this, this evening to review quickly, briefly, a melody that we learned last week. As we ended with that word hallelujah, we are going to focus once again on our breath, the, the idea that every living, breathing thing can praise with breath is the intention that I want to lead into services with. So let's see if we can remember from last week or perhaps learn if it's new to you this week. The words on the next slide, thanks to Craig for helping us navigate that. Kol haneshama tehaleliyah, hallelujah. like it's still there. I like it. It's going to repeat. Next part, hallelujah. Sounds like it's still there. We'll come back to it in just a moment. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. So my, my ritual for myself on Friday afternoons as I'm driving here is I put on whatever kind of Jewish music I'm in the mood for, and I sing to my heart's content in my car. And I think about what has changed since last Shabbat and the week that I've lived and the week that we have lived. It helps me go there thinking about the last time I was sitting in my car doing this drive on Friday at five o'clock, where was I in the world? And as I did that tonight, I realized how much has happened in the last week. A lot has happened in the last week. And it's still Shabbat, 
and I was still doing the same drive and listening to the same music and coming into the same sanctuary to do the same thing, which is to put the entirety of this last week over here for now. Because at the end of Shabbat, it'll still be there. It doesn't need to be here tonight. Tonight's about taking a breath, leaving it behind a bit, and leaning into Shabbat and building in the way that we welcome Shabbat with these beautiful melodies, the ones that can ground us. Sometimes I close my eyes and I just sing them because it helps me go there and block out the images of the week. That's what we're gonna do this evening. But first, we're gonna say hello to the people around us. Say Shabbat Shalom to someone near you so you have not met before. so lucky to have Alyssa Berkson joining us tonight to help lead our worship. And we're also very lucky to have a lot of new faces in our sanctuary, some faces which have been supporting us and helping to lead our community for many, many years, are Pam and Rich Remus. And in honor of their granddaughter receiving her Hebrew name tonight, I'd like to invite them forward to light candles, assuming um, we can get the extra candle to light. <laughs> Thanks, Rabbi. <laughs> Let's join together with the words on the screen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Aolam Asher kitshanu
Those candles are really holding on to the last bit of the week. <laughs> but Shabbat is here, it's happening, whether the candles protest or not, and we continue to build and welcome page 130, Lechuna Ranana. <laughs> My two-year-old likes to watch Shabbat on Zoom. He's watching. And his least favorite part of the service is Lechadodi because the words come up on the screen and he can't see Cantor Shana. <laughs> and he cries and says, Shana, Shana, until she comes back. But it is my favorite part of a Friday night service because to me it's what says, oh, you made it to Shabbat. This is the moment we're here. We got here. Lechadodi, page 138. Shamor Vizahor Bidi Borehad Hishmi Anu Elham Yuchad Aronai Echad Ushemo Echad Lishem Ulti Feret Stanza five. 
Hero Israel, God is one. Continuing together. Vishinan tam levanecha, vidibar tapam, vishiv de chab vetecha, uv lechtecha vaderech, uv shoch becha uv kumecha, uv shar tam leot al yadecha, vihayul totafot bene necha, uv tav tam al mezuzot betecha, Uvisharecha, Liman Tiskeru, Vasitem et Komets Votai, Vitem Groshim Lerwehem, Ahani Adonai Lerwehem, Asher Hotse Tietchem, Meretz Mitzrayim, Leot Lachem Lelohim. Ani Adonai Lechem. Page one hundred fifty eight. Darbakodesh, 
Continuing with Hashki Venu, a prayer for peace and rest. may think you have the best view from where you are, but we have the best view because we can see Alyssa's mama kvelling from the <laughs> front row, expressing all that pride and that joy that's just oozing out in the form of praise, right? And that's exactly what we try to do when we rise for the Amidah. So go ahead and rise if you are able as we too pour forth our pride, our praise, our joy. I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's take a moment to express our internal prayers, meditations of the hearts, or continue in the prayer book. When you're finished, you may be seated. Our teaching this evening will be a bit creative, so I wanted to share a few words here. Um, before I do, thank you, Craig, for managing our slides this evening, that you were doing such a great job until they decided to have a mind of their own, but thank you. Amidst the ongoing trauma in Israel and in Gaza, 293 days after the war began, cutting through the political noise, violence, and protest, a group of Palestinian and Israeli teens are singing a different song. The Jerusalem Youth Chorus is trying to do what few others seem to have been able to do these days, 
creates a connection and a relationship between two peoples that rarely see eye to eye, let alone speak to each other or create something harmonious together. But that's exactly what the Jerusalem Youth Chorus is doing. Founded in 2012 by Micah Hendler, a Jewish American from DC, the chorus brings together teens from all over Jerusalem, whether it be East to West, Jewish and Palestinian. And I found out this week that the founder of the JYC is actually a childhood chorus friend of Cantor Rosenberg's. In fact, Josh worked with the Jerusalem Youth Chorus during the year that he lived in Israel. The most wonderful thing that he found, that he said about the rehearsals, is that they are structured. You see, once a week, all of the teens gather, even through these difficult times of conflict and war. They warm up together. They move into a mediated and structured dialogue and conflict negotiation. And then they finish together in song. 17-year-old Palestinian Dahlia says, we talk. I think if it weren't for this choir, I wouldn't have ever interacted with Israelis, like ever, she says. And 15-year-old Hadass from a Jewish family in Western Jerusalem says, I thought it was only going to be singing. And then we got separated into groups and we started talking and sharing. And it was, at first, kind of shocking. It was so interesting, she said. What's interesting, and perhaps not so earth-shattering, is that when you witness it, it stirs the heart and soul. And what's interesting is that they have discovered an alternative because they are the alternative. They are doing it. They're creating understanding and harmony through relationship, shared purpose, and connection. It's actually possible. And while they are on the path of creating unity, equity, and peace, they are creating beautiful music, too. All over the world, in fact, and in the U.S. as well. You may know, those of you who have seen, that the chorus is currently completing a U.S. tour with a stop on the America's Got Talent stage. In fact, their audition aired last week. Gives me goosebumps just to think about it. We thought, as an introduction to our prayer for Israel and peace this evening, that you have to see it and hear it for yourselves. So Peter, if you wouldn't mind playing the clip, thank you. So let's join together in the same spirit with our prayer for Israel that we recite each Shabbat. Sovereign of all the world, shelter Israel beneath your protective presence. May all its inhabitants and defenders know physical and psychological safety. May they find strength and solidarity and be nourished by our love and support. I have to click it. Thank you. Guide us with wisdom and compassion as we balance the necessity of Israel's safety and security with the suffering of all those who are innocent in Gaza. At this time of danger and grief, may we have the audacity to pray for peace, just as our ancestors have done each time they were threatened and terrorized. We pray that the people of Israel find wholeness and no tranquility. We pray for shalom in the land that we love. Hold on to me as we go. As we roll down this unfamiliar 
And although this wave has been stringing us along, just know you're not alone. Cause I'm gonna make this place your home. So let's join together in our prayer for peace, peace for Israel, peace for all those who dwell on earth. We ask that God bring peace, love, comfort, and healing to those who are in need of healing, whether it be a healing of the body, of the spirit, or of the mind. If you are thinking of someone to mention for Misha Beirach this evening, we invite you to rise and share their name. If you're with us on Zoom, please place their name in our chat. We'll make our way around the room to make sure we include everyone. to make sure to acknowledge Shoshana Lea Bat Dahlia Chaya. As we pray for healing for all of those who you have mentioned. Page 371, although we're going to turn to the slide and set this evening. Thank you, Alyssa, for this beautiful rendition. Refine you, Adonai, Venera, Faye. Oh, she ain't you, Veni, Vashea. El Karov, Le Chol Karov, Ach Karov, Le Reav, Yisho. We pray for healing. Spirit, we pray to once again be
It is our custom each Shabbat to share Shehechianu moments, moments of simcha, blessing, joy that we have experienced this past week. So if you have a birthday to mention, an anniversary, or another God-given moment, we would love to hear it. Just raise your hand and share. One second. Yes. <laughs> 49th wedding anniversary. Mazel tov to the two of you. And the others, Marsha. Wow. Reuniting with a friend that you didn't know if she was well or not. What a, what a beautiful moment. Yes, Ali Sheva. Yeah, it's, uh, I had the uh, North American Championships last uh, Sunday, and my bestie is in town. Wow, compelling. Fulfilling your passion. Amazing. Do I know what you were going to share? I think we'll so. Our, well, let's, we're going to go last for the Remus family and the others. Being in person Aww. for the first time. Aww. Wow, a blessing of presence and healing as well. So good to see you. And Susie. You know, Susie, if you hadn't called it out, I was going to say happy birthday to Joan Rosen, who is also a, a part of my extended family. And so we're glad you're celebrating Shabbat and your birthday with us tonight, Joan. Mazel tov. But we do have Pam. a really big simcha. And so if she's willing, we'd like to bring <laughs> our newest member of the Jewish people forward, Emmanuel Maori, I was going to say Remus for a second, is the granddaughter <laughs> of longtime active members Pam and Rich Remus. Come and I know that they're here with their extended family. We are so excited to be celebrating with you tonight. Kimmy and Joey, I got to stand beneath the chuppah with them two summers ago. Um, and I can't believe they've created this beautiful miracle. Emmanuel Arden Maori, who she's six months now? Eight, Eight months. months. Time flies. <laughs> so tonight we're going to celebrate her receiving her Hebrew name. In a moment you'll hear her name chanted in Hebrew, and then we'll hear from Kimmy and Joey as to the significance of her chosen name. Emmanuel, hi. We've only met on Zoom, and now we meet in person. But I just want to say that we pray that you embrace and feel the embrace of TBE as you continue to grow in mind, body, and spirit. This precious, this precious child with whom these parents have been blessed has already brought much light into their lives. May God's radiance continue to shine upon them. May Emmanuel continue to be a source of light to all those around her. May her radiance illuminate the world. Yeah, that's right. May the light of Torah and mitzvot shine in her deeds, and may she help to bring the light of redemption into the world. Listen carefully as you're going to hear her Hebrew name chanted. Eloheinu ve'elohe avotenu v'imotenu, kayem et taliyadot, taliyadahazot, le'avi ha'ul ima, v'yikarei shemah b'Yisrael, Esther, Ariel, bat brucha yedida v'joseph Daniel, zot ha'ketana g'dola t'hiye, k'shem sh'nichnesa l'abrit, k'en t'kanes l'torah, u'lechupa, Amen. Our God and God of our mothers and fathers, sustain this child through her parents' loving care. And let her be known among our people Israel by the name Esther. May her name be a source of joy to her and inspire her to serve our people and all humankind. May her parents rejoice in her growth of body and soul. And as they have brought their daughter into the covenant, so may they with wisdom and patience lead her to a life filled with Torah, the blessing of learning and community of chupa, a loving relationship, and ma'asim tovim, a pursuit of good deeds. Together we say, Amen. Amen. And so I was just showing Kimmy and Joey the certificate that shows um, Emmanuel's Hebrew name, but we'd love to learn a little bit about this name. So Kimmy and Joey, could you share a few words? Yes, I'm Kutur, and you're going to 
start. Sorry, just getting out my piece of paper here. <laughs> uh, of course, the goy has to go first. But um, <laughs> so, uh, my sweet baby girl, I can't even express how proud of you we are. Um, you're such an incredible human being already. Your mommy and I love you so much from the depths of our hearts, even more than we thought was possible. Um, Manuel is wildly intelligent, musical, beautiful, gentle, and hilarious. So your, mom, your mommy and I are also thrilled for Esther Ariel to be her Jewish name. I do think it's interesting that Esther in the Torah is a figure who grapples uh, with how to maintain her Jewish identity in a world of increasing Jewish diaspora. Uh, and even though I am a goy, uh, you, my sweet love, have the honor of being Jewish, just like your mommy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Should I start over? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I imagine Esther's story will hold special meaning to you um, as you continue to adeptly navigate this tricky world. So how do we arrive at Esther Ariel for your name? Your great-grandmother, Esther, was the mother of my father, your grandpa, Dan, who passed away exactly one year to the day before you were born. Now, Esther, your great-grandmother, passed away when I was eight years old after a courageous battle with cancer. What do I remember about Esther? She was kind, yet immensely headstrong. Great-grandmother Esther was renowned to this day for being the best cook in the family. She was tall, five foot ten. Um, she, she was gracious. Um, and at just eight months, I can say without a doubt, you are also tall, courageous, gracious, kind, and immensely headstrong. And while I don't think cooking is a good idea for a baby, I think great-grandmother Esther, or I thank great-grandmother Esther for bestowing these amazing qualities on our beautiful daughter. We'll switch. We'll switch a roof. My Emmanuel, I have thought about this moment for so long, even before you were born. Baby namings are probably my favorite thing that we do as Jews. You were born, it's a big deal, and now we get to bless you in front of family, friends, community, and celebrate. I have thought about what I would say, all my hopes and dreams for you, but now you are here, my hopes and dreams know no bounds. I love you more, and you are even more wonderful than I could have ever imagined. This is also the part we get to tell everyone about your beautiful name. It's also bedtime if you can't tell. <laughs> um, <laughs> Emmanuel Arden Esther Ariel. You already heard from Dada about your first name, but now I have the privilege of telling you about your middle name because you are named after my granddad, Arthur. I also want to point out that granddad's name plaque is just back there. there. Um, granddad was a major part of my childhood and I still feel his presence today. And I'm not kidding. Whenever something weird happens in the house, I go, granddad? He was impish and funny, and to be honest, you're only eight months old, but you're already pretty funny. You know exactly what you're doing, and you also know that you have all of us wrapped around your finger. Now, Granddad is the reason we got so involved with Temple, and now this place is our Macomb. I hope this place feels that way to you one day. I want, to, I want so many things for you, my princess. I don't want to prescribe what you should be or how your life should go. That's for you, and I hope you share it with me and Dada. But I want you to be safe and healthy and happy. I hope you take the values Dada and I will teach you and flourish. You're already a sweetheart and smart and an amazing person. This is just the beginning. Know you are always loved. We are so proud of you every day, and I love how I can tell when you are proud of yourself. <laughs> right now, that's when you sit up or spit up, um, but as you grow, there will be more things we can add to that list. So now I will end with this. I was too stu superstitious to buy this before you're born, but at home I have a pink hamsa that I picked out and ordered after we brought you home, the day after we brought you home. It has a blessing on it, so may these words protect you, my daughter, now and always. Bless my Emmanuel Arden, Esther Ariel, who brings love, joy, and happiness into our lives, whose precious smile lights up and makes our home bright. Baruch Hashem, I love you so much, baby. Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stunning. We have four generations of your family in this room today, mm -hmm. and I'm really glad that you guys have come a little bit closer to home. Yeah. Um, and so, Emmanuel, we want you to have a little puppy bunny. We're not sure what it is. What do you think? It's nice Baby, and soft. You can take it. And you soft? can hold on to this. Are we comfortable? Would you like to keep her in your arms? Or would, should we try it? You can, yeah. I'm going to see what happens. a little blessing with the rabbi? 
We love Shauna. We love her by Rachel. <laughs> Let's all join in together yeah, with an Ami. Yeah, there Ami. we go. <laughs> May God bless you and protect you. May God's grace shine upon you. And may God lift God's face to yours, granting you always a sense of shalom. And we can all say, Amen. For all of these things and more, we are going to join together with a kiss and with words of Shehechianu. I'm going to give you back to Daddy. Oh, you did such a good job, kiddo. For birthdays, for anniversary, for love, for new life. Give me one second. We'll join together with these words. Baruch Atah Adonai going to turn now back in our prayer books to page 586 for words of Aleinu. If you are able to rise, please do so. Page 598 are the words of the mourners Kaddish as we think of those who are no longer physically with us and honor their memory. This Shabbat, we're marking the recent deaths of Richard Budson, Joseph Chazen, not yet interred, Michael Miller, Norman Raber, Charles Rosen, Abraham David Schwartz, Harvey Steinberg, Rosalind Wennett. We've been asked to read the yard site name of Edith Shamroth, and my bubby, my grandmother, Marilyn Greenfield. If anyone else has a yard site or a recent loss you'd like to acknowledge tonight, we invite you to rise so we can come around to meet you. Thank you. 
We invite everyone to rise and join the mourners in the room with the words of the mourners Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash me rabba ve'alma divra chrute v'yom lich machute v'chayachon v'yom echon u'v'chaye d'chol v'yit Yisrael ba'agala u'v'izman kariv v'imru amen Yehei shme rabba mevarach le'olam u'almei almaya Yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase v'yit adar v'yit ale v'yit alal shemed kudasha brichu le'ela min kol berchata v'shirata tush berchata v'nechamata ta'amiran be'alma v'imru amen ehe shlama rabba min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael the Imru Amen. O se shalom bim Roman, who ya se shalom, Aleinu vel ko Yisrael, the Imru Amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom Aleinu vel ko Yisrael, ya se shalom, ya se shalom. We um, are just going to join together with a brief rendition of Gesher Tzar Ma'od, remembering that um, though the whole world might feel like a very narrow bridge, we can cross it. Um, the most important thing is not to be afraid. announcements, which may or may not be on the next slide. Look at that. Thank you. Good job. And thank God for Craig, because it means I didn't click the slides tonight, which is truly the worst. Upcoming program, Summer Institute continues. There are lots of classes coming. Um, please continue to join us. Not on this slide is that August 4th, Gideon Argove is going to speak to our community again, giving his fourth update since the war began. But where we stand, where Israel stands, and, and what may be to come, um, August 4th on Zoom, you can register on the website to get a Zoom link. Lots of things. Check your emails. Yes. Everything. You're standing. Let's join together in Kiddush <laughs> and uh, sanctify this moment, the Shabbos. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, borei peri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kishon b'mitzvotam, v'ratzavah. Shabbat Kodshom, Be'ahava Uvrason, Hinchilanu, Zikaron Lema'ase Bereshit, Ki Huyom Tefila, Lemikra Ekodesh, Zecher Letziyat Mitzrayim, Ki Vanu Vacharta, Ve'otam, Mikol Amim, 
בשבת קודשך, באהבה וברצון, הנחלתנו. ברוך אתה אדוני, מקדש השבת. לחיים, אורן. Just juice, right? Before we, uh, before we do Motsi, I just want to thank Alyssa again for your leadership tonight. You really mm -hmm. lifted up our worship. Mazel tov again to the entire Remus and Maori families. We are so excited for you. And a welcome again to anyone who has not been here before. We hope you'll stick around and say hi during Oneg. And on that note, I think Emmanuel is the only one under 13 besides Oren who's here. So if you <laughs> were 13 here at TBE once, I don't know. I graduated <laughs> from idea. one of our learning programs. I'm looking that way. I'm looking this way. Yeah, come, come on, on over. Up. We know who you are. are. Alyssa wasn't 13 here. That's the, right. It these was folks later. are thinking they've never been 13 here. You were 16 here. But I'm thinking there's a lot of kids in the back in the Kerr Ocean Snyder family. If you family. were a youth here at TBE, no, come 13. on up once many years ago. At the Ocean, I believe you were a teen right. here. That's okay. They're debating we'll back there. Okay. Let's join together. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Come on, Zach. Ha'motzi lechem min ha'aretz b'tei Are they going to come to take a bite? Right, that's fine. Yeah, come take a bite. Take you a bite. You guys can help me lead this. Good Shabbos, everyone. Thank you to the famous family for sponsoring our owning. Good job, Good job. <laughs> Thank you.